Hmm, do you guys think I should make a tutorial on how to put polls in your YouTube videos in order to increase viewer engagement? Hmm. Okay, okay, if you guys want to know that badly, I guess I'll have to make a tutorial on it. Jeez. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday video. Today, I'm going to be talking about something really exciting. You know those nifty polls that Twitter added to their site last October? Well now it looks like YouTube has followed in Twitter's footsteps and introduced a similar feature for creators like us here on YouTube. Now it'll be easier than ever to be able to get live feedback from your audience and hopefully make it easier for you to be able to interact and cater to your audience's wishes. Here are a few ideas you can use with this new feature in order to promote a more intimate and deep connection with your viewers. One, you can ask your viewers what videos and topics they would like to see in upcoming or future videos. Two, you can start a debate with your audience among two ideas or concepts that relate to your video's subject matter. You can leave your video on a cliffhanger or decision that your viewers can vote on and you can take action on the majority decision in an upcoming episode. Those are simply a few ideas that I came up with when reviewing this new feature. If you can think of any other ways to use this new poll feature in your videos, go ahead and leave those thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm interested to see what you guys will come up with. Alright, well that's enough bib wabble. let's go ahead and go to YouTube to figure out just how you can start creating polls of your very own. All right, so here we are in the video manager. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the video that you wanna add the poll to and uh, go ahead and click the down arrow next to it and click the cards option. That'll bring you to this screen where you can go ahead and start adding cards and the poll feature is actually an interactive card that they've added to the additional video playlist, channel, fan funding, donation uh, link. They've added the poll option to that list uh, if you do not see it here, uh, it's probably because they haven't finished rolling it out. They're rolling it out in phases so that if there are any bugs with this new feature that they'll catch them. Uh, rest be assured that you will be given the feature um, very shortly. It's just that YouTube kind of rolls them out to select individuals. Uh, I'm not sure what it's based on, but uh, you'll get it in due time. It shouldn't be too long, but uh, if you do have the poll feature here, you can go ahead and click create. And you can go ahead and give your poll a question. So what is this? Question mark, question mark. And uh, you can also click here to have the little text that comes up on the screen before they look at the poll. The little thing that comes up to advertise going to check out the poll. So uh, check out this poll. Uh, that'll be our little text. And I'm gonna hold down the alt key and type in 0187 on my number pad to um, go ahead and insert a character here. That's gonna do the little arrow. Alt 0187 on the number pad. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to put in a choice here. So this is a poll and my choice to be like, I don't know either. All right, and you, obviously you can create more. I'm interested, You okay, so you can do up to five choices. I'm just gonna do two for this example. And I'm gonna go ahead and create my card here at zero, zero. You can move the card around to wherever you wanna go. And I'm gonna move it like right here and I'm gonna preview it by clicking play here. Alright, so you see it popped out with the check out this poll, that is our teaser te text. Uh, normally it would just be the default uh, poll text, but we added our own teaser text. and. Um, when you click on it, it'll bring up this new uh, sort of card and you can go ahead and vote here. And it looks like you can actually change your vote, which is really nice. And uh, it'll it'll show you, I'm guessing, it'll show you, no, it won't show you the results until you vote. So that's kind of interesting. And uh, I wonder if they'll make it so that you can uh, change it or if they'll, if they'll update so you can only choose once and that'll be your answer because, I don't know, it seems like you shouldn't be able to change something like this. but. There it is. Once you've done that, just make sure that it says up here, all changes are saved. And you can go back to view your actual video on the watch page by clicking the title here, or go back to your video manager and all the updates you've made in this panel are live and people will see the poll. 
Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you do want to mention that the poll is going on screen in the actual video itself. You know, word to mouth, say, hey guys, there's a poll popping up on the screen, whatever, direct your audience's attention to the poll. That'll make it more effective. If a poll just randomly pops up, I mean, you might get a few people to click over and check out the poll, but you really need to have that poll from the video, direct them over there and have them fall through with the poll for the maximum results. A few tutorials ago, I asked you guys to create some irresistibly undeniable video titles using my video naming tutorial found here. Not a lot of you guys entered, however, I thought I'd take my favorite two and feature them here where you guys could vote on them and see who had the most grabby title. So go ahead and vote away. If you guys are new around here, you can go ahead and subscribe here on YouTube to be notified when I put up new tutorials every Tuesday. Or you can sign up to receive these tutorial videos one day earlier on Mondays by subscribing to receive text message notifications using the code shown on screen now. Doing this will keep you up to date on all upcoming tutorials a day earlier than everyone else and is meant for only the more serious viewers of this channel who want to take their YouTube content to the next level. Additionally, if this tutorial helped you guys create YouTube polls of your very own, make sure you guys go ahead and like the video to help spread the word to people that may benefit from it. Sharing is caring. So I think that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next Tuesday or Monday for another Tutorial Tuesday episode. Remember, until then, keep creating.